This is the device that started it all on the Honest Channel and with over 337,000 views, it's my most watched video review to date. I filmed this first review five years ago and back then this Karcher model was well over two years old. And yes, it has lasted that long and I use it just about every single day, not just for windows, but in my bathroom and all around the house. But just two weeks ago, I used it for the last time because it has finally cleaned its very last window. The Karcher WV60 is dead. But there's a new kit in town and it comes with all new functions and accessories. The question is, does it still wear the crown for my most favourite device around the house? Well, let's find out. So it was a sad day when I reached for our trusty Karcher window vac and nothing. It was completely dead. Thanks to YouTube, I found out that sometimes the internal battery can need replacing. So we tried fitting a new one ourselves, but it was still dead, impossible to revive. I should have known though, because when we were opening it up to put in the new battery, it seemed that my uh, Karcher maintenance program had missed the intake nozzle and it was completely clogged with, well, you'll see for yourself, nasty stuff. To be fair, even with all that stuff clogging it up, the Karcher still performed well. So I definitely was going to get another one straight away. I ordered up the new one and ladies and gentlemen, again, the new one, oh, I ordered up the new one and ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to the Karcher WV6 or is it the Karcher? Forgive my dodgy pronunciation if I got it wrong. I've linked to this model that I've bought on Amazon in the description so you can take a look for yourselves. Essentially, the Karcher is a silicon window cleaning blade, but with strong suction so that you can wash windows and glass surfaces and then easily take away excess water afterwards. That water is stored in this little detachable container, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. I'm going to link to my initial review of my old Karcher model here so you can see how I use it to clean the bathroom every day. That's really my biggest use of this window vacuum, using it to suck up the steam on the glass and the tiles surrounding my shower, including the floor tiles and then my bathroom mirror as well. Now, I had a few people comment on the last video saying things like, who has time to do that every morning? But it's a 30 second job that saves me long term because I never have to clean the glass or mirrors in my bathroom and they are always gleaming. And that is why I love this device. Like the old one, it's bright yellow, so you're not going to miss it around the house. Picking them both up, they're roughly about the same weight with the new one being a little bit heavier and that might be due to the bigger battery, which I'll also come on to in a minute. Now the cleaning head on the new model is the same size, but instead of the rubber squeegee lips, it has liquid silicone technology, which means the silicone cleaning heads feel a little bit softer to use, but you can feel it clinging better to the edges of whatever you're vacuuming. And some of the new features I love on this uh, new Karcher are, um, it has a power percentage indicator on the, ha on the handle. Now with the old Karcher, you were never sure when it was gonna run out, which could be annoying. It's also a little quieter than the old one around two decibels according to Karcher. The battery on this one lasts a lot longer too. Our old window vac could run for up to 20 minutes, but the new one has a stated operating time of a huge 100 minutes on a single charge. And I love the fact that when the water container needs emptying, you can just unplug it, pour the liquid away, um, and it's easy peasy. I always found this little plug here, the stopper here on the old um, version, a little annoying and it, it would take ages to sort of pour out of this little hole here. However, one of the things I hope they might have addressed with this new model is when your water tank starts filling up and you turn the Karcher on its side while you're vacuuming, the water in the tank can get back into the fan motor and it starts to spray everywhere, undoing all your good work up to that point. Now, I understand why it happens and the solution is just to um, regularly empty it, but it would be good if the water tank had some kind of flap to keep out the wastewater. As with the old Karcher package, you also get a smaller sized uh, cleaning blade with this 
and a cleaning spray bottle and a trial pack of the cleaning fluid. So how effective is it? Well, around the bathroom, it's just great at hoovering up the overspill from the shower and cleaning the mirrors and glass. On windows, the new blades really cling to the glass while you're moving the carcher around. and uh, They can make a little bit of a squeaking noise. Does it get streak-free results? Well, not quite. I mean, this could be because the silicon blades need to bed in a little bit more, so I'll reserve complete judgment. But the reason I reviewed the Karcher window vacuum the first time around was because I thought, well, who on earth would ever need one of those around the house, a window vacuum? But because of the fact you can use it for more than just windows, like in the shower or for sucking up small spills um, and then, you know, using it on mirrors and so on around the house, I began to find I was using it really regularly until I got to using it daily. It's not cheap at around £90 on Amazon, but look out for discounts. They do come up and it's well made. And despite my lack of maintenance on the old one, it should last a long time. So let's just see how long we have to wait until the next Karcher model review. For your windows, you can just wash them down with soapy water and then go in with the Karcher blades to wipe off and suck up the excess water. And I did another video showing you exactly how to do that without leaving any street marks here. Because although you won't see marks on your bathroom mirror or glass indoors, if the sun is directly shining on your outside windows, then they, you may see streaks. And I have a, a technique to avoid that and leave them um, gleaming perfectly. And to me, this is just an incredibly handy, durable device that comes into its own in the bathroom, but is also great at leaving windows and glass doors absolutely pristine. For more reviews of household products, as well as anti-aging devices and treatments, together with expert interviews and lifestyle advice, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.